Nick from Bottles, and recently we took a trip down to Greenville Vineyards in Portsmouth, Rhode Island, and had a beautiful tour of their gorgeous winery right on the bay, a uh, beautiful restored carriage house, behind the scenes tour with uh, the owner Nancy Parker Wilson, a uh, beautiful tasting room, and the wines were fantastic. The Greenville Farm was founded in 1863, and now Nancy is the sixth generation to own and operate Greenville. Her mother still lives on the estate, and at the time it was built, uh, the house was actually the biggest house on the island. The estate is listed on the National Registers of Historic Places, and the winery itself is operated out of the 1870s stable carriage house uh, building, a beautiful tasting room, and that's where they do all the winemaking also. The label on the bottles is a design from the floor of the tiles in the main house. We had the house on the label initially, and then we switched it, then Dad wasn't comfortable with it. so. My husband is an architect and his graphic designer came through and started snapping the floor. And so that is that, and then we put the G on top of it. They started growing grapes at Greenvale in the 1980s uh, to produce grapes for Sakonet Vineyards, and then in the 90s they developed their own label. And so they asked us to plant Cayuga, which makes the skipping stone, and the Vidal, which is the Vidal block. Yeah. Uh, so this is Cayuga. This is, again, a New York State hybrid grape um, developed uh, in the Finger Lakes. Uh, Hybrid to, of? Oh, Lambrusco and this and that. Okay. And, yeah, just Great. a lot of different things. We picked this as early as September 15th, and then as late as um, like October 4th. So this is 90% Cayuga okay. and 10% Vida Blanc. It's delicious. It's pleasant. Yeah. 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 Good, like, uh, Thai food or uh, spicy. spicy. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's super fruity, but not yeah. super sweet, really. Right. No, it doesn't leave that. Yeah, it's not syrupy. Pinot Gris. Uh huh. So that nice white grape wine, right? Really, it looks almost red. Wow. Isn't that fun? Thing. See, there's a really nice fruit quality. Yeah. It's pretty juicy. Last year we had Irene. It dumped a lot of salt on the vines, so they oh. they defoliated. From the ocean. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. This is a salty. You'll see the river in a second. Yeah. It's salty. So because of that, we lost a lot of the the fruit characteristics. So I th it tastes fine. Yeah. It's different, and I think it's really because more of the soil got into the flavor of the grapes rather than the fruit, the leaves, the sugar. You know? Yeah. For the reds we tried, the Cab Franc really stood out at light color, but dry and earthy, and, and really, really excellent. These were planted in 1990, and you get, you know, you looked at the Pinot Gris, and they were a little thinner, and you can see how thick this plant is. The Cab Franc tends to be quite vigorous.